I'm on a roll today. We've got what's what's a what's. It's part of the myths series. Today, welcome. We all know what what's are, don't we? Or we think we do. Do you get what it says on the packet? Let's have a look at this and see what you think. Okay, let's get started on this. This is a nice, simple one. I've got a clip here from my friend, Recordology. So, Recordology, what have you got there? The Naxa, or Noxa, NPB428 portable MP3 slash CD player with cassette recorder, built-in USB input, aux input, a remote control. Okay, we got an eight watt speaker and a good length. Looking through the manual, in this case, you really get the sense that they're showing you how to keep it, how to take care of it. It's just a bummer that it didn't work out that way. Interesting. DC bias. Not a huge surprise. Power out, but 2.5 watts times 2. So they're not using the full capacity of those speakers. Because they're on the back, they say 8 watts. Interesting. But they still sounded good. Okay, let's see what we've got here then. 2.5 watts RMS times 1.414 equals 3.535 watts peak. 3.535 times 2 equals 7.07 .07 watts to peak to peak. The figure of 8 watts is a reasonable margin for safety for the speakers. Work it backwards then you will see 8 watts divided by 2 equals 4. 4 times 0 .707 .07 equals 2.8 watts, which equals a 12% error. It's simple, it makes it sound better if you put 8 watts instead of 7.5 watts, then it's a nice round figure. Just go to check out, believe everything you read, you've only actually got two and a half watts, not eight. 